Okay, so we're doing another car v car. We're going a bit electric this time, trying to find if uh, you can have an electric supercar. We have two that uh, the companies have sent us. We've got the Chameleon over here, looks very nice. And we've got the Voltic, which, well, it just looks like a small little electric car. And then we've got Liam. So we're gonna test them like we did in the last video, or well, different cars last video. We're gonna do the speed, uh, acceleration, which should be pretty good in electric cars, and all the rest of it. Okay, so, so we're gonna yeah, do, going. as usual, the first test is going to be a drag race. Whoever hits green first wins, and because there's only two of us, I will be driving the coil Voltic, and Liam shall be driving the uh, chameleon and we'll see who when the bomb goes off them um, drive alright alright th throw it ok and we're off obviously no sound which is really annoying and well the coil voltage's winning this quite surprised at that hate the sound of this because there is no sound and it looks like the Voltics won it Liam's given up and the Voltic won it well <laughs> that, that, that was oh, I didn't expect that okay we'll go for the next task and we're back right. to Na another task the task now is looks and sound but there's no reason for sound, it, it's irrelevant, there is no sound, it sounds like the wind and the wind sounds like nothing, so sound is out of the question, but looks, there's no out of the question there, well there is out of the question because this chameleon is, well it's gorgeous, I love this chameleon, I'm quite angry at Rockstar to say that, they made it electric, obviously you can get better colours than this, and it just looks brilliant. And then there's the Colt taking off the um, uh, Lotus, the Colt Baltic. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is taking off actually. Uh, I, can't, I can't really think of anything. Uh, Alright, we'll have a look on the interiors now. The interior of the Baltic again is finished in a stitching, uh, yellow stitching. It does actually have a back window. It doesn't look that bad inside. The um, the rev counter is pointless because you can't really hear it. It does go pretty quick. And it's got good good um, speed. The badge logo looks pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good interior. On the um, on this, however, carbon fiber roof as well. Yeah, I won't. To be honest, I'd say that the Voltix interior is a lot nicer than this because of the yellow stitching, the seats are nicer, but um, yeah, I'd say that I'd say that the dashboard in this is better because it's a lot easier to read, but again, rev counter, completely pointless, you can't hear anything, and the speed are 180, I think it says there, but yeah, for this, I would say it's about... Uh, <laughs> Chameleon wins on the looks, but the Voltic does win on the interior. And we'll go to the next task. Okay, so the next task is uh, the maneuverability task. Instead of racing from the top, like from the bottom to the top, like we did in the last video, we're going to race from the top to the bottom. We're going to test on acceleration and um, cornering, actually, and then also try not to crash. So, uh, are you ready, Liam? Oops. Alright, we'll just do it on my count after three. One, two, three, go. Alright, we're off. And there seems to be a helicopter in my way. Oh, but I've got that acceleration of 3.5 where he's got it 5.5. And I've gone the wrong way. Yeah, that's going to help. Bet this is the wrong way again. 
Yes, it is. Whoops. Frickin' is pretty good. The, um... The, uh, acceleration is brilliant. And... Oh, I went the right way for once there. My sense of dis direction is horrible. Just like... Oops. <laughs> just like James May. And outside again. And the chameleon's already here. Due to my poor sense of dis... Alright, thanks for that. But due to my poor sense of direction, I'd say they're very similar, but I would say the chameleon would have just had it. However, it is a small and manoeuvrable vehicle, this Voltic. So I wouldn't say it would have been too far off, but yeah, the chameleons definitely won that. So, next. Okay, so we're back. I I'm going to have one practice slap and then the uh, real thing. So this is the uh, practice lap to get going. We got Liam in the background in a different car because, of course, the Colt Voltic is in a super, well, is in super section, whereas the Chameleon is in the sport section. So we'll have to try it again. But we'll just try and find out the best lap, see if it's any good off road, see if um, cornering is quite good. Obviously, Liam's already going into me. Test the corner in here. Brakes, kind of let it down there. This is only the practice one there. And through there, pretty easy. Got, mm, yeah, brakes are amazing on this. Try and get an early corner in here. Of course, that acceleration is just unbeatable. Electric cars are of known for best acceleration. All right, coming on to the uh, best lap here, because we've already moving what, instead of a stop, instead of stop start situation. Straight onto the dirt. Ooh, got air there. Going over the pumps quite hard. Again, brakes on the dirt even worse. Around the corners a lot easier. Practice lap works out. And through the cones again. Oh, tires. Around the corner. Taking a wide line seemed to be better. And then last, well, last corner here. As Top Gear would say, Gambon. Round it. Acceleration, last push, and across the line. And then we'll see okay, what the so this is Liam's lap. Because there's only um, two of us, we can't, I can't go ahead and spectate him because otherwise it would end the race for him. Oh, I'll give him only 26 seconds, so I'm just going to follow him. Apologies if it's glitchy, because internet. But this is basically Liam's, Liam's lap. But it's not the lap that matters, it's basically the... Um, the time that matters. Turn the music off. Don't really care about that station. See what they can get. Good corner. Brakes again on electric cars. Don't seem to be very good. Just went. They remember, this isn't his proper lap because. Is proper. This is his practice lap. His okay, this is the start of Liam's proper lap here. Or the chameleon's proper lap, should I say. Again, this acceleration is just so good. If I had to bring... 
one thing from the electric car over to this car, it would be the acceleration. Oh, bad crash there. Again, very glitchy. through the cones not that hard brakes look to be kind of better on the um, on the chameleon it could be the driver braking harder or it might not be okay last last corner gambon long wheel but across the line Okay, so we're up to the final task Obviously. here. Which one is the uh, best price? Well, the uh, believe it or not, the um, Voltic is fifty thousand dollars more than the Chameleon. Y yeah, that, that that's quite a lot of money for such a smaller, less attractive car. This, but altogether, I'm not even going to go through what the what this car won or that car lost or the other way around because the chameleon has won it by far i mean you could he could win it just by the looks it just by my for me it's one of the best looking cars in the game definitely well this is well that's just a lotus they're not bad looking but won't win any beauty contests but yeah for this episode, definitely the Chameleons won it for the best super or sports electric car. Now if you want to see any other cars that you want us to compare, then just leave a comment or leave a like and uh, subscribe and we'll have another one of these by the end of the week. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.